Hi guys, my name's Barry and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while now since we got the news or an update of the Halloween TV series and ever since the TV series was announced, I always had a bit of casting in my mind of, as to who I would want to play certain characters. I did dabble in the cast um, last week or so about who I would want to play certain people, but I was kind of clueless as to who else I would want to be cast in certain roles. I've had time to think about it and I'm going to be doing a video today with regards to who I would like to see cast in specific roles. Now, this is all based on certain characters that may make an appearance in the TV show. I don't know how this TV show is going to go. We've got absolutely no idea. So of all the characters that I'm going to be naming here, maybe one or two of them will make it into the show. Maybe none of them will make it into the show. But let's assume, let's assume that some of these characters will make it into the series at some point. Then these are the actors and actresses that I would like to see portray these characters. I'll start off with the obvious one and that is Michael Myers. Now I think Michael Myers should be played by Aaron Armstrong who played your young Michael Myers in Halloween Kills and possibly Halloween Ends, I can't remember. But Aaron Armstrong, he's probably the most obvious choice to play Michael Myers because he already has played Michael Myers. He is a stuntman as well, so he could play both parts. He could do Michael Myers behind the mask, of course, and he could also do his own stunts as well. Now, I don't think we should see an unmasked Michael Myers whatsoever, but if Aaron Armstrong is up for it, maybe see his face a little bit if you want, if that's what they're looking to do in the TV series. So yes, I think if we're seeing an adult Michael Myers in this show, then it has to be Aaron Armstrong. As for the young Michael Myers, I haven't put a name to a young Michael Myers because hopefully we don't see a lot of a young Michael Myers and I just don't know any young actors. Next up, we've got Dr. Loomis. Now I'm hoping and praying that Dr. Loomis will be in this Halloween TV series. I feel like you can't really have a Halloween movie or show without a Dr. Loomis. Yes, of course, we have had movies without Dr. Loomis, but it's just not the same. And the fact that they're going back to basics and they're going to be rebooting it yet again, then they've got no excuse not to include Dr. Loomis in this TV series. So I'm going to assume that Dr. Loomis is going to make an appearance in it. And I did toy between a few cat or a few actors, sorry, who I think should play Dr. Loomis, but ultimately I'm always going to go back to my number one choice and that is Richard Schiff. I think Richard Schiff has got the acting credentials to do someone like Doc Dr. Loomis. I think he's, is he as good as Donald Pleasance? I've no idea, but I've, I've seen more of Richard Schiff's acting than I have of Donald Pleasance's acting. So I feel like he's up to the task. He has got the look of Dr. Loomis as well. Now, I know that when you're casting people in roles, sometimes you choose them based on acting ability, sometimes you choose them based on looks. And I'm trying to do both. I'm trying to give a role to someone that does look and resemble the previous actor, which is only natural, but at the same time, you need to choose someone that has got really good acting skills as well. And I think that's Richard Schiff in a nutshell. Also, and it's the same with everybody in this list, I want to give you people who are in reach of starring in a Halloween TV series. I don't want to give you an A-list star. I don't want to put Tom Cruise in the role of Dr. Loomis because A, he wouldn't fit. But if he did fit in the role, he just wouldn't go near a Halloween TV series. There's no point in fan casting these types of actors because realistically, they're never going to be put into the role and they would never accept the role. And they probably have probably never seen Halloween because they're just two A-list. So we're trying to keep it grounded. So that's why for me, Richard Schiff is the perfect candidate for Dr. Loomis. Next up, we've got Laurie Strode or Judith Myers. The reason I'm saying that is because I don't think we'll see Laurie and Judith. I think if we've got a female protagonist teenager, I think they're going to go down the route of Judith Myers. However, because Laurie Strode is a popular character, they may still go with Laurie Strode. However, regardless of it's Laurie or Judith, I've got an actress in mind that could play both characters so that if they decide, let's do Judith, they'll choose the actress that I choose. Or let's say they say it's going to be Laurie Strode, then this is an actress that I would say could play Laurie Strode. So the actress that I'm choosing for either or is McKenna Grace. Now McKenna Grace has already done horror anyway, which is cool. And I think she's still young enough 
and low level enough to do something like a Halloween TV series. Yes, she's in the new Ghostbusters movie and she's probably going to be a big star at some point. But at this moment in time, I think she's still within reach and touching distance for somebody over at Miramax to try and coax her into doing at least a season or two of a Halloween TV series. She is young. She's not even 20 yet as well. By the time the show comes out, maybe she'll be hitting 20. But I don't really know any other young actresses that could be really perfect for the role of either Judith or Laurie. I have seen a lot of names going out there like Sydney Sweeney, older actresses as well, Scarlett Johansson. I watched uh, Darren and Frank's casting on their channel from the Slaughtered Lamb Movie podcast. And all the examples that they were given are actresses that would have been great 20 years ago but some people just don't understand that actresses grow up they get older and um, so as a shock to the system when someone says Scarlett Johansson would be great well she would have been great but she's 40 years old so you need to if you're going to be doing a young Laurie Strode or a young Judith Myers it has to be a young actress so I don't I don't see Sydney Sweeney or anyone like that playing the role of a young teenager. So I think McKenna Grace, not only does she have the look, but she's young enough to play someone like Judith or Laurie Strode. Let's look at Sheriff Brackett next. And I'm going to say Sheriff Brackett, but we'll assume that if it's not Sheriff Brackett, it will be a leading officer in the TV series. You can't really have a Halloween show without some sort of um, officer or authority figure. You had it in Halloween uh, kills and Halloween ends and Halloween 2018 um, with Hawkins and he was the kind of like the leading man with Brackett and obviously you had Halloween 4 that also didn't have Brackett and we had Sheriff Meeker so I think in this role it's either going to be Sheriff Brackett or some sort of other figure who's going to be similar to Sheriff Brackett. Now my choice for that kind of actor or character sorry would be Ben Foster. Now I know that Ben Foster is sometimes considered A-list but he does do some lower level movies as well. Ben Foster is one of my favourite actors of all time. He always gives 100% in every role that he does. If you look at films like Alpha Dog he's absolutely crazy in that but he's also quite subtle as well. He can be an action star and he has starred in horror movies as well like 30 Days of Night. I just feel like he has that authoritative figure. He's not too tall as well. He's quite small to be honest. So if he does come up against someone like Michael Myers, he will look small and Michael will look intimidating. But at the same time, when he's not around Michael Myers, when he is chasing Michael Myers or when he's talking to other people, he can look intimidating as well because of Ben Foster's acting skills. So I feel like Ben Foster is another actor who is just in reach of doing something like this, but also could be considered an A-lister. Not a lot of people know who Ben Foster is either, so I don't think his name or face will overshadow the, the series. You do, Again, you don't want someone who would overshadow the series, like The Rock, Dwayne Johnson being one of the sheriff. It just wouldn't work because we know who he is and his face is bigger than Halloween. So you want someone who's grounded, who is a good actor, and you can maybe look at him and go, oh, I know him from somewhere, but I don't quite know where I know him from. So Ben Foster fits that. I feel like Mr. and Mrs. Myers will make an appearance in the TV series. And I had a long, hard think about who I would want to cast as the role of Mr. and Mrs. Myers. I don't want actor, an actor and an actress that are too young to play the role. And I don't want actors and actresses that are too old to play the role of Mr. and Mrs. Myers. Now, I have to assume that if we see Michael in his, say, early 20s in this show, then let's say his parents will be in there late 40s, early 50s. So I had to try and think of actors and actresses that could fit that bill, but also look realistic in the role. So we'll start off with Mr. Myers. I'm going with Josh Duhamel, or Josh Duhamel, however you want to pronounce his name. I feel like he's another actor who has done TV shows lately, like the Mighty Ducks TV show. I think if you're going to accept to do the Mighty Ducks TV show, then you have no problem accepting to do a show like Halloween. Also, just like a lot of actors on my list, Josh Demel has done horror as well, so I think he fits the bill of being that type of actor. Now, I did think of Timothy Oliphant, somebody in Darren and Frank's Slaughtered Lamb uh, mentioned uh, Timothy Oliphant playing an officer, and I think that would be great, but Timothy Oliphant is quite busy at the moment, and he is quite high profile as well. I think Josh Demel, it reminds me of Timothy Oliphant, like a, I don't want to 
be disrespectful to Josh Demel here, but a discount version of Timothy Oliphant, but at the same time can give a hundred percent when he really wants to. He's a great actor. He's got some good comedic timing as well if you want to put some comedy in there. But I think Josh Demel would fit the bill for Mr. Myers. And lastly, Mrs. Myers. I had a long hard think about who I would want to play Mrs. Myers. And I'm going to go with my favourite actress of all time, or at least of this generation, and that is Essie Davis. Now, if you don't know Essie Davis, she's in The Babadook. That's what she's most famous for. Now, she is a big famous actress in Australia, but I think she's low level enough to come over to the US, and this could be a big break in the US to do something with the horror genre because she's obviously done horror before and I feel like she would be a really strong candidate to play Mrs. Myers because I think she is the greatest actress of all time. I think she could bring everything to the role of a mother who is watching her son disintegrate into madness, into darkness. And if she's a little bit older than her 20-year-old son, Michael Myers, seeing the effects of what Michael Myers is doing to the family, I think someone like Essie Davis could bring her all to this show. And I think if someone like Essie Davis or even Essie Davis herself is brought in to do Halloween TV series. I think she would absolutely steal the show. She would wipe the floor with every actor and actress in this series. And I feel like I would concentrate on her more than Michael Myers. That might not be a good thing for a lot of people, but I feel like with a show, you can't 100% concentrate on Michael Myers alone because it would get too stale and too boring very quickly. So you need to have other characters around that you can invest in. And I feel like someone like Essie Davis in the role of Mrs. Myers, that would be amazing. Especially since we don't even know anything about Mr. and Mrs. Myers. And I feel like having some sort of characteristics to these characters it would bring a whole different dimension to the Myers family because let's face it, we're probably going to get to know more about the Myers family in this TV series. And I feel like Josh DeMille and Essie Davis are the perfect fit. So I've not cast anybody else because those are the characters that I think are most likely to appear in this TV series. When it comes to Annie or Linda or Bob or anybody else, that remains to be seen. I don't know if they're going to appear or not in the TV show. And at the same time, I don't know that many young actors and actresses that could fit the role of these characters. So I thought it'd be best to leave them aside just now. If the news comes out that the plot's going to be about Laurie and Annie and Linda and Bob, then of course I'll come back to a video like this and do recasting again. But at this moment in time, the ones that I've chosen are the ones that I feel will most likely appear in the TV series. So what are your thoughts on that, guys? Do you agree with the casting that I've chosen or do you have anybody else in mind for the casting of anybody that I've mentioned in this video? Bearing in mind, if you look at their ages and decide for yourself, do these look like there'll be an actor or actress that would fit the role? When I look at Richard Schiff, for example, Richard Schiff is almost 70 years old, and I know that Do uh, Donald Pleasance was in his late 50s at the time, so there is a bit of an age difference between these two, but I feel like a more mature Dr. Loomis, a war in Dr. Loomis would fit a role for something like this. I feel like that would be the best way forward, especially if we're going to be setting it a little bit later, in the late 70s or the early 80s, I want Dr. Loomis to look a little bit older and a little bit more worn in. So I've got my reasons for everybody that I've chosen, but what's your reasons and who would you choose for the roles that I've mentioned in this video? Leave your list down below, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Meeting adjourned. Get you, Barbara. Ever play in the past. Ah! Ah! I want to look back. See.